Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Jimmy Dore Show. I'm here with Rod Blacone and Steph Zamorano, the miserable liberal. I'm miserable. Ah, I'm wonderful. Yeah, yes. So we're going to cover this. Um, you know, Google and YouTube are doing their best to get rid of independent news shows, right? They're finding ways to make it harder for us to be sustainable. New algorithms uh, that make it harder for people to find our videos, and it, it's a, I have a theory that they're trying to f make people frustrated when they try to find news on YouTube, so they just quit, and they get uh, something else. But well, that's another video. Chris Hedges is the man, and uh, he writes for Truth Dig, and he wrote this article called "Silencing Dissent." The ruling elites who grasp that the reigning ideology of global corporate capitalism and imperial expansion no longer has moral or intellectual credibility, have mounted a campaign to shut down the platforms given to their critics. The attacks within the campaign include blacklisting, censorship, and slandering dissidents as foreign agents for Russia and purveyors of fake news. No dominant class can long retain control when the credibility of the ideas that justify its existence evaporates. It is forced at that point to resort to crude forms of coercion, intimidation, and censorship. This ideological collapse in the United States has transformed those of us who attack the corporate state into a potent threat. Not because we reach large numbers of people, and certainly not because we spread Russian propaganda, but because the elites no longer have a plausible counter-argument. So a lot of this is coming on the heels of the new requirements that RT, the people at RT, which he, Chris Hedges also has a show at RT, have to now register as foreign agents instead of just journalists. They have to register as foreign agents, which is a big deal. Uh, and they're only doing that to RT. And I just showed you today, if you watch the other video, all the stuff they were claiming Russia did to interfere in our election with Trump, Hillary Clinton did. Hillary Clinton teamed up with, with people inside the Russian government to get information to slander her political opponent in the election to throw the election. And that's what all this is about. So this is all propaganda. So this is like when you read George Orwell and you read Brave New World. It's what we're living in. We're living in right now. Like that... Not even an uh, exaggeration. So we'll get through this article. The elites face an unpleasant choice. They could impose harsh controls to protect the status quo or veer leftward towards socialism to ameliorate the mounting economic and political injustices endured by most of the population. But a move leftward, essentially reinstating and expanding the New Deal programs they have destroyed would impede corporate power and corporate profits. So instead, the elites, including the Democratic Party leadership, have decided to quash public debate. The current hyperbolic and relentless focus on Russia, embraced with gusto by liberal media outlets such as the New York Times and MSNBC, has unleashed what some have called a virulent new McCarthyism. I wonder what Chris Hedges would call it. Why don't you tell us what you would call it, Chris? Tell us what you would call it. You say some would call it. What would you call it? Well, I fall under the category of some. I'm in some. We're some. Do you, does Chris, do you We're fall under the, here. why don't you just say what you say? But that's one of the things I hate the most that people do when they do that. Some the say. Some would say, some have called, yeah. The corporate elites do not fear Russia. There is no publicly disclosed evidence that Russia swung the election to Donald Trump, nor does Russia appear to be intent on, Military out of military confrontation with the United States, the exact opposite. I am certain Russia tries to meddle in U.S. affairs to its advantage, as we did to Russia, as we do and did to Russia. So Chris Hedges makes the case that, uh, again, this is McCarthyism. That's what's happening, and it's to squel squelch debate. It's to squelch voices. So, Ron, you saw this article, yep. and what what was it about this article that really... 
I mean, this is uh, obvious that that's what that's what's happening. Well, I think the the way he summed it up was really kind mm-hmm. of like uh, sometimes when I talk to people, I have trouble putting into words my problems with all the hysteria because it's like where uh, do me you too. begin? And the best definition of propaganda that I've ever heard thus far in my life is that propaganda is something that prohibits a conversation by creating a caricature a caricature of the opposition. So when the corporate media, oh, you must be a Russian troll, you must be a bot, oh, you're going to be labeled as a, as a foreign... Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I mean, that is true propaganda at its most dangerous state. And Chris Hedges is pointing out uh, that this is the corporatocracy losing control. They don't have any arguments left at this point. You don't have any valid arguments against single-payer health care left at this point. I mean, you never really did. But now you can't even skate around it because it's like, well, we need a baby step first. We we had your baby step. We had the Affordable Care Act. It's time now. You had your baby step. Uh, So there's no arguments left. So now... Uh, you're just using a red herring, no pun intended, right. uh, with Russia. And that's really all this can be tracked down to. And some of the other news coming out uh, today that we're going to cover later is proving him right more so than ever before. And it's about time that we finally reach this point in the cycle because it's been it's been going on for a year now. So here comes the censorship. It's coming, just as Chris Hedges predicts. They don't have any counter arguments to what is that, what they're doing. They don't have a counter argument to not giving you free college and giving get the exact same amount of money to the war machine for no reason. We could have free college. Could we get rid of student debt? Yeah, no, we can't. Can we use that exact same amount of money to spend on bombs? Yes, we can with no discussion. So they have no, again, so I guess Chris Hedges is correct. And believe me, they will never talk about the New Deal. The Democrats will never bring up the New Deal. They talk about a better deal. What? Why, why, why even put deal in there? It makes people think about New Deal. And why aren't you speak? Why aren't you bringing up New Deal? Um, the elites face an unpleasant choice. They could impose harsh controls to protect the status quo, which is what they're going to do. Which is what's happening already. So we're going to do a story about Twitter. How their uh, Twitter right now is going to ban all advertisements from a certain country. Because of McCarthyism. Isn't that awesome? Meanwhile, just a few years ago, Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama gave 20% of our uranium production to those same people that we think are too dangerous to even allow them to advertise on Twitter. That's called propaganda, as Ron points out. That's propaganda. And Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump are all pretty much equal. I would say... uh, Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton were, are more corrupt than Donald Trump because they actually had more opportunity to do corrupt shit. Donald Trump will catch them, I bet. I'm betting if he stays in power for eight years, he'll he'll surpass. Um, but this idea that Trump is horrible, so that makes the Democrats good, is a really dangerous idea. The next live Jimmy Dore show is November 6th in Burbank, California, and November 12th in Portland, Oregon. Link for tickets right there.